Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. When you seek him early, you will find him. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of a parable of ten virgins. Hallelujah. And then the Bible tells us that five were what? They were all virgins, meaning they were all of the fold of God, same fold. But five were wise. You know, sometimes when I stand here, I just feel I should just open my heart. Look, let me tell you. The things you are learning that some of you take for granted, you will see people pay with their blood to receive it in the future. This is when you will appreciate it. You are not paying for it. Let me tell you something. The Bible says five there was a time all the ten had the opportunity to get extra oil is that true there was a time that they could have gotten as much oil this is the time right now but while five were paying they all had oil they all had oil is that true they were anointed they had knowledge but the remaining five said uh -uh, the fierceness of time will require that we hold extra oil and while the five held extra oil the remaining people, the Bible says, although they were virgins, they were foolish. What was their foolishness? Refusal to pay attention. When the, those who sold this oil said, remember the Bible says, it is wisdom that stands on the street and cries. While men are passing, wisdom is saying, look, pay attention to me. We need a Sunday school department. Who did CEM? Please. Help that baby. Praise God. Are you listening to me? And then, all of them were gathered. What they did not know, listen, was that the oil was being used and would require refilling. And a time came when the lamp of the other five was dying. And the Bible says there was a sudden announcement. This is exactly how life will present itself. Sudden announcement. Here comes the bridegroom. Everybody, the Bible says the five who were wise. On the strength of their extra work. They now said now we have enough for this occasion with the bridegroom. And then the remaining five. The remaining five who did not pay attention. The Bible says they were, they came to beg the other five and say, please, can you give me small oil? They say, no, when it comes to this one, we don't, there are some things they cannot help you do. Listen, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, there are certain parts in life that nobody can help you cross. No matter how they love you, nobody can get born again for you. Is that true?
and the remaining five had to run out. I told you this thing. I'm giving you the scriptural basis that when you don't pay attention to some things, no matter how far you go in life, the, the, the time they were supposed to run and go and buy, they didn't pay attention. Now they were forced to go out. And the Bible says while they went, what happened? The door was closed. The door was closed. There are some things you are receiving right now that you will bless God for tomorrow. I just sat this afternoon and I was just praying. I was just praying for everyone and blessing God for the ability to hear and to receive the word of the Lord. Was that rain? If that's rain, bring the chairs inside. Bring the chairs. Just find anywhere and sit down. Come. Ushers, help them. Add chairs in the front. Add chairs everywhere. Come and sit down in the pulpit. It's the word that you are hearing now that will give you shelter tomorrow. Huh. You have been a shelter in the rain. You have been a doctor when in pain lord you've been a listener when i call oh lord you've been my friend you have been a shelter in the rain you have been a doctor when in pain you have been a listener when i call oh lord you've been my friend listen no matter what you are going through today is nothing compared to the whiplash that ignorance and lack of preparation will bring. I don't care what it is. So long as you are breathing. The Bible says a time will come. People will look for death and it will run away. What kind of suffering will make a man look for death? Sit down. Anywhere. Sit on the floor. It's better to sit on the floor. Don't be ashamed of the camera. We are not, we are not playing. We are not acting film here. This is, this is life. Find a place. Sit everywhere. Come and sit around. Occupy some of these seats if you can. Just leave the minister's seats. Sit any other place. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. And I take God seriously. Say it one more time. In the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. They are life to me. Because I found them. Hallelujah. I receive calls almost daily text messages hundreds of text messages every day and the major issue is that many people call and they are asking for help families believers who are born again, pastors, great men and women of God, who are trying to find meaning as to why their lives are the way they are. Are you listening to me? Every time we counsel people, we counsel every Mondays, and there are families that come with unanswered questions. Listen. 
the level of unanswered questions that are falling upon people are becoming too serious. People, look, people are asking questions. Questions about their personal success. Questions about longevity. Questions about health. Science has failed. The government has failed. I was reading the paper about, I mean, um, online now, about um, Egypt and the commotion that is happening. And this country and all the things that are happening. And tears just filled my eyes. I said, Lord, I don't know what you did to me that made me to pay attention to your word. But I pray that the people in Koinonia will pay as much attention. Will pay as much attention. The Bible says, my son, pay attention to my words. You see, let me tell you something. The days of begging people for the things of God are over. Are you listening to me? Where you tell people, oh, come, we'll give you sweets, two, two tom-tom, one vix, one tom-tom for coming. And the people say, really? Will they give it? Or oh, there's cold and then we'll prepare tea for you. And people come, they say, that tea I will take. Those days are over. Because whether or not see everybody in hellfire today believes in jesus i hope you know the only mistake is that they believe too late the bible teaches us that there is a time please project lamentations 328 lamentations 328 i forbid you i forbid you from failing in life in the name of the Lord Jesus I forbid you from entering prostitution as a result of not listening to this message I forbid our brothers from becoming arm robbers arm robbers are not just the ones who jump fence I forbid you from going to a harbor list because you think the word of God is not working do you know the number of people that patronize harbor list bishop it's not a hidden thing again pastors Prophets, apostles, everybody. Look at graduates running helter skelter around Nigeria. Did you know that many people who run back to Zaria don't just run back because of desire, they run back because of the pain and the severity of the frustrations. But there is a way. God cannot leave people in the dark. There is a way. Listen, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter and the honor of kings to search it out. You must search it out. You must search it out. Hallelujah. You must search it out. It is good for a man. Man doesn't mean a male figure, just means a human being. It is good for a man that he bear his yoke. When? When? What is it about the youth of a man? The Bible says the glory of men is their strength. Is that true? Bear the burden. Pay the price. That's why I say this every time. You will quote me in the future. No matter how you cry, I don't care how you are looking at me, I will say it. Hate me, I will say it. I will preach it. We will fail you. When you become a wonder tomorrow, you will look for us and say thank you. See, when you are in the training ground, there are some things you don't think about. You don't say, ah, my makeup, this powder is 10,000. Uh -uh. Or you say, Kai, this is my suit. Is, uh -uh. When you are in the training ground, you are there for business. It is when you win that you will celebrate. Is that true? Now is the time for training. So when we say pray in tongues, don't just say, ah, this fine guy is still looking. Pray! Open your mouth and pray. If you don't pray, life will whip you and you will still open that mouth. It will be open. The only thing is for what? Either to announce your pain and tragedy to the world that cannot help. Or to cry before God, who is our helper. I say, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. See, if you really get this thing, you have gotten it forever. Are you hearing me? I want one lady who can cook. You know, don't you know it's not pride, 
God has blessed you. You know you whether you're a caterer or something. Stand up, just one. Who is that? No, no, I'm not going to say you cook. It's an illustration. So, let's call the ones we are sure of. Opie, stand up. <laughs> oh, yeah, now stand up. Look at this. Listen. If we ask you to make cake now, can you make it with absolute confidence? Ask me the same question. Ask me. No. I may try. It may work. I don't know. That's how many people's lives are. You tell them, how can you lead a man from point A to B? They say, well, I know. See, there is a level of persuasion I want you to get. Not just belief, persuasion. See how she just smiled about the cake thing. But if they ask you to, there are some of us, you've made it once, twice. Hallelujah. It wasn't bad, but you are not sure. Is that true? When I saw this guy snapping, and Oga John, I knew they knew what they were doing. Ask me to snap. All I know is to look at you and press that thing. Doesn't matter how it comes out. But these guys know something about perspective and angles and the rest. This is what I'm teaching you. Don't just enter the world blindly and hoping that things will change. There is a fierce world out there. Are you listening to me? You're not going to live in health by mistake. Please get this. Are you listening to me? Living in health is not a mistake. You're not going to be prosperous by mistake. One day you wake up and say, wow, so I made it. Mm -mm, it will never be by mistake. You're not going to know God by mistake. You won't have a glorious life and a ministry by mistake. You will not raise children after the fear of God by mistake. This thing of mistake or nemesis or if God wants it, he will do it. Stop that kind of language. It's not a good language. Say, if God really wants to bless me, after all, I didn't ask him for Jesus to die. So why would, if, wouldn't he freely give me all things? See, if you don't pay attention, you will be surprised. Is that true? Now, Hope, let me ask you. Was there a time you could make cake but not very well? What did you do? Did you train yourself? You went for catering school. Mrs. Kait, Abi. Now, listen. You went, you, she followed those who, with faith and patience, leaving Samaran going to PZ every time. Because she was determined. Is that true? Now, she can bake cake for wedding. Somebody will give her 50,000 overnight. Is that true? And somebody will say, ah, hope that the same, uh, our birthday is the same. No, it's not the issue of birthday. This is why people get angry at the success of their colleagues. Because they think life respects age. Ask Elihu. They say, ah, when did the uh, promise become successful like this? When the same koinonia, the same in the same class, taught by the same teacher, somebody will get 100, somebody will get zero. Is that true? God bless you. Please sit down. If you pay attention, if you pay attention and you give it seriousness, I promise you, it's a guarantee. I promise you. You know what? I said this thing right from when we used to meet at the back of chapel. That we will be so successful and the beautiful part is that we will all know ourselves. So that it will not be guesswork. You will know what you did. You know, when you ask a pretty lady, you say, I, I see how fine you're looking. What is response? You say, it's God. Bro. Yes, it's God. But let me explain to you. It's God. God gave grace. You took advantage of that grace. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. He said, but this grace was not showered upon me in that I labored more than ye all. It's God that gives children. It's the woman that carries the gift. Correct? So that tomorrow, when you are blessed, it will not be a mistake. And the purpose of the blessing is to make others a blessing. That's why your blessing can never be by mistake. God will teach you the steps and you can guide somebody. Tomorrow, some of you, you are looking at me now. Some of you will be the ones on air. Presidents of nations will come to see the hand of God upon your life. 
And when they ask you, you'll be talking to other people. When you see somebody sagging his jeans and laughing, say, look, for your own good, you better wash this childishness and sit down in one place. It's not the issue, oh, I can do both. It's the matter of the heart. Sit down and allow God to build you. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18, we've been considering the su subject of success. I tell you, my spirit is fired up. Proverbs 18. We began two weeks ago by talking about the spiritual dimension of success. Give me this mountain. Hallelujah. Played the documentary and we thought, I told you that success is spiritual. Everything, life in itself is spiritual. Don't let secular humanists deceive and confuse you. Life is spiritual. Hallelujah. Then we considered the place of wisdom. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by studies. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by accumulation of experiences. Job said, this wisdom is not found in the land, in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Today I want to talk, still building on success. What do you have in your house? Proverbs 18, I want to share a powerful secret and I trust God that will pray. Proverbs 18 verse 16. Proverbs 16. Let's read together. You can look up. One to read. And bring it him before great men. One more time. Now, where a man is, put your name. Ready to read? One, two. Don't say my gift. My is not your name. This is English. One, two, go again. Mean it from your heart now. One, two, go. Father, bless your word tonight. In the name of Jesus, give us understanding. Let the fruits of this teaching speak. Let it abide in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says the gift of a man can do what? The word make there is create. It can create space for him in life. And usher him. Can we get it from NIV? Or New Living Translation? Anyone? Ah, is, that's, that's, not, is that, that's not the version. That's a different. 1816. A gift does what? It's, it's not saying a gift like a bribe. No. Just forget. It's not like a bribe. We're not talking of Nigeria here. Are you following me now? Because many of you, that's what you think I'm talking about. No. I'm not saying a gift like a seed. Huh? No. A gift. The gift of a man. It says what, my dear? It opens the way for who? Not the giver's friend. Not the giver's brother. It opens a way for what? And does what? And ushers him into the presence of it says the gift of a man. Whether there is space or not, the gift can push people and create space for him and usher him into the place of the great. A man's gift can make room. Have you ever heard people say no space? Have you heard that language? Sorry, no space. If there was space, it would have helped you. The Bible says a man's gift has the ability to push people and make space. Not only that, when other people are segregating, it can usher him to the place of the great. Hallelujah. It can usher him to the place of the great. Write it quickly. What is a gift? God-given abilities. God-given abilities. Your potentials. 
God giving abilities. That's simply what a gift is. Your God giving ability. The Bible says if you take it seriously, it can create space for you in life. This night we're not just talking of gift, we're also talking of skill. What's your skill? Your learned abilities, acquired abilities. The difference between a gift and a skill is that one is God-given, it can only be developed. The other one can be learned, it can be acquired. Both of them have the capacity to bring you before great people. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of an interesting person called Joseph. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he had Joseph, by the way, please, Joseph was not a dreamer, for God's sake. Are you listening to me? Joseph was not a, there was nothing spectacular about the dreams of Joseph. As far as we know in the Bible, he had only two dreams. How many times have you had it? Have, have you dreamt? Are you a dreamer? So Joseph was not, his gift was not dreaming. His gift was the ability to interpret dreams. Are you following me now? So the Bible says that because of that ability, his brothers envied him. Many things happened. And then the Bible, I'm just rushing now. The Bible says when he was put, remember when, when um, Potiphar's wife and all her story, 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 let's just jump it. He found himself in the prison. Is that true? And the Bible says when he found himself in the prison, there was the wine presser and the baker. But he realized that he had something. Is that true? Are you following me now? When it was time for God to bless him, God made the king to dream and close the heavens over the sorcerers and the magicians. Are you listening to me? They got up in the morning and tried to do their enchantment as usual. No way. Because it was time for God to bring a man into success. But God realized that a gift can open a way. What way? The way of the prison. Nothing else would have opened that way for Joseph because they were not planning to bring him out. Is that true? There are many people today who do not realize that if they take advantage of the gift of God that is in them, it has the ability to take them from where they are into realms that they never dreamt possible. And tonight, this is our prayer. We've been examining the principles of success. There is a dimension of success that only your gift can bring to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your gift. This dependency attitude of Nigerians is what has stopped them from exploring their gift. Have you heard that statement? What is it in English? May God give you so that we will get. It's, it's a wrong concept of dependence. That's how many of us are waiting. Say, oh boy, just get work. Once you are there, just remember me. Your boy is there. Oh. See, let me tell you. If that is your mindset, you are going to suffer in this Nigeria. And in case you think you will run abroad, you will still suffer. There are still people, there are people under the bridge of every nation. True or false? Every nation in the world has, has bridge and there are people that sleep there. It's just that films don't carry it. There is ghetto everywhere. True or false? So, many of us have this escapism mind. You are just trying to get lottery and say, oh God, let this green American lottery just happen. They would go and see how many Nigerians live like, like outcasts abroad. Because they believe. I've told you. There is nowhere called greener pastures. Greener pastures is the word of God. The Bible says he makes me lie down. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Many people want to run to delta or rivers. Say ah oh yeah we are coming to chop our share of the national cake. Go and find out how many poor people were born and bred in that same land. Are you listening to me? Everybody say, I have a gift. Say it, I have a gift. It can make room for me. It can take me from where I am to where God wants me to be. 
Alléluia. Second Kings. Somebody is catching this thing and living some realms forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Catching this and living some realms forever. Hallelujah. Who would have known that comedians will be paid millions in Nigeria today? Look up please everybody. How many of you used to play football and you come back home and they've kept the cane to flog you? As soon as you are entering, there's a way you greet your father. He says, hey, hey, you already know that this night. But today, that same football, are you listening to me? That same football has blessed people. Comedians, for heaven's sake, they won't come until you give them 2.5 million or 5 million to come and talk. They just crack a joke. Hallelujah. There are artists today. Artists today. Those who draw caricature for banks. They are paid millions of naira. Millions of naira. Listen. If you get what I'm teaching you this night. Something will happen in your life. Some of you it will happen instantly. young man called Gray Farah. Many of you know him. Gray Farah at age 10 was wondering what to do with his life. And he found out that he liked stones and he decided to start painting stones so that people will use it to just you know, just press their books and their doorposts. And people started looking at him and laughing. Every time people saw it, they just laughed. And they said, well, let's just help this small boy. Little did they know that that was a champion in the making. A time came, he started packaging those stones very well. At age 12, Grefara became a millionaire. At age 14, he was seated in the board of directors of 14 companies. Age 14. How old are you? Are you listening to me? I want you to know that if you take advantage of the gift, the gift of God is his seed in you that is supposed to help you enter the realm where you have influence and honor to legislate on behalf of heaven. Are you listening to me? Jeremiah Gyang, I've told you, Jeremiah Gyang used to be in Joss. That guy they call Jeremiah Gyang. Now, um, whether they are serving Satan or God is not the issue now. Are you listening to me? The issue is that the gifts were developed. You, you, get, you get the point? The guy you call MI, I've said it, Jesse Jacks, who were Sunday school mates. While all of us were looking at ladies, hey, pastor's daughter, these, those guys were building their potentials. Just like some of you were doing. You go to church, you won't sit down. You will use your offering money, buy ice cream, be playing ball at the back of the church. That's what you were doing. Whereas others were hearing the word and go. See the difference right now. Are you listening to me? That these things have been perverted does not negate the fact that if they are gifts, they will still bring men to honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Second Kings 4. The story of an interesting woman. Now, there cried a certain woman... Of the wives of the sons of the prophet. So the, the person was the son of a prophet. Look at me. I want to tell you something. Maybe I'm going to create another controversy now this night. Listen. That your man of God or your spiritual father or mentor is anointed. Does not automatically guarantee that you will enter success. Did you hear what I'm saying? The Bible says this guy was the son of who? That means it does not respect anointing. Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest what thy servant, that thy servant feared the Lord. And the creditor is come to take my two sons to be slaves. And Elisha said to her, listen now. This woman was in a situation where she needed a miracle. Two of her children were going to go as slaves. Hallelujah. What did Elisha tell her? He said, what shall I do for you? And he asked a question. He said, tell me, what hast thou in thy house? What do you have where? In your house. And the Bible says there is this treasure in this house, these earthen vessels. He said, what do you have? 
the woman had been running helter skelter running helter skelter and she met the prophet and the prophet said what do you have in your house could it be that many of you who have been running helter skelter or many families need to calm down and look at what you have in your house i've learned by experience and by the word that the blessing of a man is always not far from him it's just that there is no discernment to recognize it are you listening to me yes the blessing of a man is always not far from him sometimes it's ridiculously close you may not even know there were many people who walked with jesus yet they were looking for miracles and until jesus went to heaven they were not blessed because they did not realize your miracle can be so close you may not know the bible says and she said thy handmaid had not anything in the house except what a pot of oil you see how she didn't place value on it the bible says she said thy handmaid had what nothing nothing that means this thing is not of worth, but just for the sake of answering you, let it be there. Thy handmaid had nothing. There are many of you that God has given you certain things and you have been calling it nothing. 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 The gift of a man. Whether it's a spiritual gift, is whatever kind of gift. The Bible says the gift of a man can single-handedly pick you where you are, take you out and exalt you. It can. It can. I tell you, it can. Hallelujah. The man called Reinhard Bonke. He said he was considered by everybody to be a dollar. What people call a dollar. Complete dollar. Dollar IQ low. Everything low. But one day he discovered that there was the gift of God in his life. And today, hundreds of thousands of people all over the world celebrate this man called Reinhard Bonke. His name is synonymous to soul winning because he discovered the gift and it created space for him among the great. It ushered him. When you are mentioning great people in history, you will mention him. Men who have done great things for the kingdom. Are you listening to me? In history, there's a woman called Mother Teresa. Didn't have the ability to heal the sick and do all of this, but she discovered that she had a gift in her. She refined it to a point that she gave it and gave her life and forever history will remember her. Are you hearing me? The gift of a man. I want you to know that there is an ability in you. Nobody here is a biological accident. I know you've been hearing it. Ah, your parents planned for four children and you are the fifth one. You just came and every time they see you, they say, see, we didn't prepare for you. So you, you better know this thing. You are stubborn. No wonder we didn't prepare for you. And for some of us, these words have entered us. But I'm speaking to you tonight. That out of the 6 billion people in the earth, there is still space for those who are ready to make their... See, at the top, there is space. The congestion is always below. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you can pay the price to rise to the top, you will sit there and be wondering, 90% of the world's wealth is controlled by less than 10% of the world's population. And they left the remaining 10%. They spread it across and flung some in Africa and everybody is running like rats. Whereas somebody can arise. A man called Wole Soinka got up and looked and said, look, the boundaries of Africa will not stop me. He knew that he had something. See, I want you to be persuaded. Persuaded. It always does not look like it can make you great until you see the way men celebrate it. Matthew Ashimolo, hawk bread in this area. Some of our parents bought bread from him. While they were eating it, he was prophesying, Lord, the world will hear me. You say, I bring bread, 20 naira you take. Yet, this guy was moving. Within a short period of time, now he has commanded what we call apostolic territory.
territorial legislation. That's what he's doing in London. But acres and hectares of land that they would never give to a black person and he's legislating on behalf of heaven. A man called Sunday Adelaja till date he does not speak fluently. He got up and went to a communist country, Ukraine and stayed there. Let a part of those who led, right now he's among the fourth most influential people in that state. 80% of the people in his church are whites. He has led a revival and broken some barriers. Say after me, my gift. Say it, my gift will make room for me. Let me share with you a little story. They know about it. Years ago, I went to a particular bank in this country to go and beg for loan. I just entered promising, I believe God, spoke in tongues, fasted, prayed, I got up. You know, there's a way they can look. You see, let me tell you, people have, be careful, I'm warning you now in advance, be careful the way you, you turn people down. Because let me tell you, it does not show. The Bible says, now it does not yet appear. Went to squat in my friend's house in Abuja. I got up, went to the bank, met them, told them I was begging for loan. These people dribbled me, dribbled me, made a fool out of me, embarrassed me in the bank. I didn't, I said, what is all this thing? And I laughed. I said, one day they will call me. Are you hearing that? One day. What's the name of this guy that ran for second uh, vice president? Tunde Bakari. A bank came and met him and said, Sir, we are begging you to collect a loan of $10 million. We want to give you. No capital. The name of the capital is human capital. Do you know what human capital is? You and your reputation is what will be a, a collateral. So banks are looking for Dangote and looking for this and then some of you run there and they say, get out of this place. We are looking for people who have used their gifts. Tell yourself, no man will mock your God in your lifetime. This is what has happened to some of you. You see your father stand, no rent. And a landlord will stand and blast all of you. Blast you, say, look at you. Pretty for nothing. Eh? You are all these kind of Nigerian people. Just laugh. And say you will invite him when you are cutting the scissors of the duplex you are building for your parents. The gift of a man. The gift of a man. The gift of a man. The gift of a man makes room for him. I'm speaking to some of you. Some of you think, don't just think I'm motivating you. I'm speaking to your spirit. I told myself I will never go anywhere where anybody will look and I'll have to chicken out and hide myself. I have something. I have something. I have something. When you find it, it so happens that God carved your own like your fingerprints. God is not a fool. He will not put competition around. He gave you your uniqueness. What is your uniqueness? When you know your uniqueness and you are persuaded about it, you found your secret of glory in life. Did I do something here? I think I've done something. Did, was it me? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I have seen people in this life that years ago, they would look at me, they wouldn't, some of them, <laughs> let me tell you something. Ah! Life. Somebody who will be driving you today, tomorrow will be the one who it will be the honor. I've gone to homes that I went years ago. Years ago. They were looking at me like some of these are serious people. But now, when they hear you are coming, it's as if God is coming. Say, say after me, the gift of a man. Yes. The gift of a man makes room for him. Makes room. The brothers of Joseph did not realize his gift. They didn't know it would be an honor one day for them to see their own brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One time they went... And suddenly they found out that their brother was now the prime minister in Egypt. Could it be that some of you who are sitting down today, somebody who has looked at you and said, Tolu, one day the person will say, Tolu, please talk to XYZ for us. May God make you a wonder. 
May God stop you from being small. What is that gift? What is that gift? For some of you is wisdom. When you think of Benihin, you think of the healing anointing. When you think of Ora Roberts, you think of healing. When you think of JJ Okocha, you think of football. Mark Zuckerberg, you think of IT. What is your uniqueness? Define what makes you different. That's what the world will pay for. What makes you different? The greatness is not in your similarity. The greatness is in your difference. When you master your difference, you will exchange it for honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. The world is full of people. What is your difference from others? Do you know it? Do you even believe it? There are many musicians in this country equally anointed. But when you call Sinach, there is a, there is a, a carving. She has carved a brand for herself. When you mention Frank Edwards, they, they not only discovered their gifts, they discovered what was unique about that gift. That's what makes you priceless. When you discover that gift, you will know that you are not one of the many people roaming around the earth. Oh, there is something about your life. You may be in the same class. You may be in the same office. But let me tell you, you are not the same. You are not the same. You may be doing ministry. Everybody is doing prophetic ministry. Everybody is doing apostolic ministry. Everybody is doing evangelical ministry. What is it about yours? What is it about yours? Every great man in life not only discovered his or her gift, but the uniqueness about that gift. What is your uniqueness? What makes you stand out from the rest? I'm asking you, and God is asking you. What makes you stand out from the remaining people? Listen, when you find your gifts, the next step is to begin to refine it. This is the hardest part. Because your gift at its default state is not good enough to make you marketable. Did you hear what I'm saying? Refine yourself. Build yourself. A lot of us don't do this. Christians are very, very, very lazy people. You know what made us lazy? The fact that there is something called the favor of God. There is something called the wealth of the wicked that will be transferred to the righteous. And people just say, my wealth, come, find your way into my pocket. And look, let me tell you, people have been confessing that thing from the day you were born. And they thought it just works like that till today it has not come. When the Bible says the wealth of the wicked, people just, people just, just, craft that thing and pick out what they want the wealth of the wicked will come into the bible says god give it to a man that is good in his side wisdom and he said to the unbeliever he give it to heap and to travail so that you will bring it it is your wisdom hallelujah what is your gift what is your uniqueness what makes you stand out what makes you stand out among all of the graduates in Nigeria, what do you think will make you get a job? What do you think will make you become a CEO? What do you think will make you become an uncommon? I preached a message, extra, what did I, what, extraordinary anointing. What makes you extraordinary? Hallelujah. What makes you extraordinary? It's not your place of birth. It's not even whether you are from a royal family or not. What makes you different from other people? If I write a book today, what is the difference between my book and that of David Ibiome or that of Bishop Oyedeko or that of Paul Enenche? What is the difference? Many of you like doing the same things. That's why you are not moving anywhere. This is how a lot of people. We, like, we think it will work because you are doing copy and paste. There is beauty in being unique. Are you listening? There are even, even among bad people, there are some arm robbers that are notable because they were unique. 
their degree and strategy of arm robbery was so touchy. They said, no, I won't steal like the rest. This thing is common. There is a strategy. This follow, follow attitude is good to follow people, but you must follow with wisdom. Many of you, every time God is telling you move left and you see a crowd moving right, you think you are wrong. A whole nation can be wrong. That a thing is popular does not mean it is right. The path of greatness is a lonely path. Few people follow it. That's why you will not find many people. You will think you are making a mistake. Wait until you arrive there. Everybody will turn and say, ah, I need pastors in that journey. Hallelujah. What is your gift? Do you realize that if you take that gift, some of us is plotting, just plotting. Do you know that if the Lord anoints it and wisdom comes upon that gift, you will be able to establish something that will make you so influential you can legislate for the kingdom. Are you listening to me? A lot of people say, Billy Graham, all the presidents go to greet him. But what people do not know is that it was part of his life's goal. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. His, he really didn't believe his gift was just normal evangelism. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. He sent them hundreds of telegrams again and again. They kept bouncing him. He didn't stop. What you see or what you have seen is the reward of many years. There are some of you, God has spoken a lot of things. God has told you. Some of you will own banks. Some of you will own corporations. Hallelujah. You started selling recharge card, nothing happened. People just say, and you know believers have this ugly way. Once you start something, nobody buys it. They say, oh God, leave this thing. Oh, if God is in it, speed will come, favor will come. It is lack of the understanding of the principles of the kingdom. You can never know success until you know failure. In the school of greatness, your greatest asset is your failure. Are you listening to me? Are you following me? I'm teaching you something very powerful. My gift can make room for me. My gift can make room for me. Worship team. Roti means rehearsing all the time. Hallelujah. He's been with us for years. We've, we've gone, every, I know how much he has his money because he believes. This is, a, this is a master student. I think he should have rounded up his masters. But he just believes that there is something upon this. And he's taking it all the way. Tomorrow, presidents will call him and he'll just be playing. And they'll sign checks of millions and you'll be wondering and saying, ah, ah. Just keyboard, you you play your own as you are playing. They just they point, they will even talk to you. They'll just say this way: go out. Those who do decoration, do you know there are those who do decoration for presidential figures? There's this guy called Yam Yal Yam Press. Jordan, what what's his name? I, I heard that he was in Zaria here. Is that true? Now he got up with his publishing, and today he has become a multi-millionaire. Yet, there were others who started before him. This afternoon, we went to pray for um, one of our ladies, father and she. And while we were passing somewhere, we saw this. I mean, we we're talking about people who were pushing, who used to push wheelbarrow. Jakes was saying, ah, this wheelbarrow business used to sell before. And we we're talking. And then Wale pointed one man's shop and said, this man, it was by pushing that wheelbarrow. Right now, he has one of the largest shops. Say, I will not let men despise my gift. Say it. Many of you have stopped developing your gift because you have been lied to. Some of you can cook and all you can cook is Amala. And you, you have a dream of having somewhere just Amala people love as a yourself. Abba. You want to disgrace the world. See, greatness lies in the bosom of those who can go the extra mile with their gifts. Refuse to let men talk you down. It's better to take a step and fail honorably. They will clap for you. 
The one who tried and failed is better than the one who didn't try and is just making noise. Oh, pass the ball to number five. Ah, you would have just passed that thing now if you are taking that penalty this way. Look at simple penalty. See, you see goalkeeper talk is cheap. Somebody is sweating in the field for 90 minutes. Somebody else is talking. He said, if it was me, that thing, the way he did it like you, that you would have been a goal now. That's how many people in life are. How can a graduate not get a job? How can blah, 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 and they are not doing anything? You are in 200 level. Your lecturer told you, ah, you are a nice student. Say, I cannot understand why graduates are not getting jobs. Then you finish and carry your CV to the same man that commended you. <laughs> and he says, get out of my office. You are like, ah, ah. Say after me, my gift will make room for me. Say, my gift will make me great. Say one more time, my gift will make me great. Yes. Some of you are architects. You are good, but not very good. And God is telling you, refine that gift. One day you will get, let me tell you something. Once you can provide solution, nobody cares about your age or what you can do or who, are you hearing me? The gift of a man defies race and age and anything. Once you see people discriminating you, your gift is not notable enough. When your gift is notable enough, you will break every kind of barrier. Hallelujah. What do you have in your house? And the woman said, nothing. Probably somebody said, me, I can just make people laugh. That's my own. Everybody calls me a dollar. Zero in math, zero in English. P in such as, uh, uh, you know, just anything, literature. But you can speak small. At least make people laugh. Why don't you say, Lord, if you can use this. This is what Reinhard Bonke said. He said, Lord, if you can use this, then use me. Do you know your beauty too is a gift? Hello? There are cynical guys that anytime they see a pretty lady, they are just angry. Why? I don't know. Say, look, don't think because you are beautiful in this place. Beauty is nothing. It's a lie. Beauty is something. Beauty is a gift. The book of Esther, there was no pastor, no prophet, nothing, just a beautiful woman. She was the ambassador of God. Many of you feel guilty for being fine as if you gave back to yourself. It has happened. It has happened. Cherish it. Build it. And use it for the glory of God. Don't use it to go to men in TJ Palace. Tell yourself this beauty. Could it be that God will make you marry the minister of finance? So that when you are there as Esther, when they want to cut corners, you say, uh -uh. Do you believe this? I want you to be wealthy. I want you to be blessed. Don't let anybody fool you that money will take you to hell. It's not true. Money only amplifies what you are. If you are a thief, money will make you a bigger thief. If you, are, if you are immoral, money will give you more options. You can now rent a bigger hotel. If you love God and have a desire to advance his kingdom, money will make you do that better. You will build roads. You will build schools. When I went to Sheik, I was sharing with them. I said one of my dreams in life is to have a very big hospital. This is why you need to be successful. Say I will be successful. Don't feel guilty about it. Say it. Say I will be rich. I'll be blessed for the kingdom. Yes. Can you give God your beauty? Yes, I have nothing but everybody keeps telling me I'm a pretty person. Why don't you bring it and say, Lord, you can use this. Anoint it. Let this beauty make room for me. And take me to a place where I'm in a position of influence to legislate for the kingdom. Some of you are very intelligent. People are sweating, reading overnight. You wake up that morning, one hour to the exam and browse and get A. You think it's ordinary. It's an ability of God. Why don't you stretch it through and say, I will get to a position where I will do great things. When they make me a vice chancellor because of my academic prowess, I will now legislate on behalf of heaven. When they bring the names of people who don't qualify, we kick them out and say no. This person may be poor, but he deserves a chance. Give him a chance. Are you listening to me? Some of you will put scholarships for less privilege. 
Some of you will name it after your accomplishments. You will be so great, they will name a foundation after you. Joshua Selman Foundation. No, no, look. It will happen. The beauty of success is that it depends on you and God. It will happen. It will happen. You know how many women have named their children Joshua? Look at how long Matthew's son name is Ashimo Lowo. The whole world is calling it. They have never complained that it's too long. When you become great, when you become great in life, when you become great in life, I watched a DVD of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. He went for a crusade. When he came down, I saw how the gov they interviewed him in CNN for 12 minutes. Nobody will say you are a Nigerian or you are an African. No. Listen, are you going to remain where you are? Are you not seeing your family members crying? Is it not obvious that they need a savior? How many of you have seen your father come under pressure? No rent, no nothing. What are you doing about it? I told myself I'll come to a point in my life where I'll put all my family members on perpetual salary for their lifetime till they go to be with Jesus Christ. Brothers, how would you like that kind of thing? If wishes were horses, beggars would beg to ride, but wishes are not horses. But you can turn that wish into a horse by applying these principles I'm teaching you and you will ride on it gloriously. What do you have in your house? This is what God is asking you. What do you have? What do you have in your house? Don't sit down and be admiring great people and say, hi, hey, lucky for them, oh, you people have gone. do pray for us. Say, I'm going to do something. Say it. If you know your uniqueness, how many books are you reading? How many books? How many books are you reading? Readers are leaders. How many books are you reading in the area of your call? If you are snapping this camera, if you cannot mention five people in this country that are good or around, I know you are not serious. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You, is that God is calling me into a healing ministry. Show me whose DVDs you have, who God has called into that healing ministry. Where you are, you are reading how they started. When you go to my house, you don't find, okay, there's, there, there are two movies now. He did the Lord of the Ring is still there. Then this Tyler Perry's film. I can't remember again. I can't even remember the name. But there are people that have modeled what I see God making me become. And I sit down. I study. I want to empower God's people. I want to make them ambassadors. Set them on fire. Do you have a unique grace? Do you have a unique gift? Are you doing anything about it? Some of you just sit down and keep pitying yourself and disturbing those who are moving towards their destiny. Try this life self. Now, wow. If we were abroad by 18 years, they would have given us this. If you, listen, I'm not laughing this night. If you don't stop that attitude, you will find that you are 50 years and you are still talking like that. Now, you know there are some people who believe it's just nemesis. That's just how life is for us. Naughty used to work in our family. My sister too is like that. No job, no marriage. Me, ma'am, like that. No job, no marriage. As if you do not know that you can change it. You go to a place of employment, they kick you out, laugh, and say one day we will drink tea with the CEO of this company. We went to Shika and one, one, one man just stopped us. One guard man that is tried where he was doing his job. The guy stopped us and said, we are not going anywhere. We were trying to plead him. He said, we are not going anywhere. And Shade's husband is like the ogre of the whole, you know, the security company that employs the people. So I called Shade. I said, Todd, they've stopped us. So wanted to go and pray for her father. And she was just happy. She just got one bigger guy. 
The guy just marched and came. When they came, at once they allowed us and we waved the hand and we left. <laughs> Be careful what you call impossible because somebody will come and make it possible. Would have, there were some people who were waiting there. But when Chade's husband came, he saluted him and we were happy. We were partakers of the glory. <laughs> it taught me a lesson. It taught me a powerful lesson. Impossible is a relative statement. They can close the door for others and say, sorry, it cannot be opened. Sorry, it cannot be opened. You will be amazed to see how they will open it for somebody. I told you there are some people that bank on Saturdays and Sundays too. Is that true? It's only for the masses that bank ends 3 p.m. on Friday. They say, oh yeah, go out, let's lock this bank. But there are people on Sunday because of one man, they'll open the bank and say, your excellency, sir, please. We went to Starcoms and I saw one account officer sitting there. Why will a bank give an account officer to come and sit in a, in a, in a telecommunications company? Some of you, you will have in your own house. You say, so how much are we sending for this school now? Send 10 million for this school, 10 million for this one, 50 million for this. I hear that there is a church building. Send 15 million for it. God punish the devil. Let me talk like Dr. <laughs> Let me talk like Dr. Abel Damina. He likes that God punish the devil. See, I will be great in life. I'm inspiring you tonight. This was the decision I made years ago. Let me tell you the truth. This decision will cost you something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you willing to pay the price? The woman said, nothing except a little cruise of oil. What did the prophet tell her? He said, go and borrow you, you are not permitted to borrow oil, but you can borrow vessels. What are vessels? Books, DVDs, experiences. Sit down under the feet of mentors and great people that have gone ahead and listened. I've told you, this attitude of saying we are all equal. We are equal in Christ. But when it comes to the school of greatness, wisdom is ability to recognize difference. There are people I will never, no matter how crazy I am, I will never, if I ever get to a meeting and they are seated there, I must salute and recognize them before speaking. Wisdom, Mike Modoc says, is the ability to recognize difference. Many of you don't know difference at all. Hallelujah. Doctors don't go about looking for sick patients. They establish an institution and say, if you are sick, find your way here. Is that true? If you really want to be treated, what will you do? You have to go to the hospital. Is that true? Many of us want the doctors to come and find us and treat us. Sorry, life does not work like that. Get up and begin to do something about your life. Make up your mind. Five o'clock in the morning, I'm awake. How can a young man be sleeping by 10, 11, 12? You yawn by 12 when others are already writing their names in time. And you, you wonder why things will not work for you. Let me tell you, God is a merciful God, but he's a just God. I know the number of times I sleep in a day. I'm always building myself. Nobody will deceive me compared to where I'm going. This is just a step out of the cave. Are you listening to me? This is rehearsals. I tell people, ministry has not started yet. When we get to that level of kingdom influence, where we will not talk too much, at that time I won't be shouting like this again. It's when you don't have results, you shout too much. Charles and Francis Hunter say one miracle is worth a thousand words. If Michael Jackson only said, Jesus is Lord, that statement with that level of influence will bring more harvest than what we'll be doing every week in Zaria here for one year. Is that true? Everybody say influence. This is what your gift. Let me tell you very quickly before we pray. What your gift can do for you. Number one. Your gift and your skills. When refined and developed will create opportunities. Everybody say opportunities. Your gift. Your skill. When refined. When developed, my friend, a military man, took me to a place in Abuja. When I entered that place, is a is a spa place, a beauty place. 
They took me there to Babylon. Ah! When I entered that place, I knew that there was difference between clipper and clipper. Babin saloon and Babin saloon. Babas and Babas. The way they treated me when I sat down and they barbed me. In my mind, I was saying, is this me? Hallelujah. When they finished, they put a lotion. I don't know what it is. My head just foamed like Father Christmas. And they told me, enter this room. I entered. I was enjoying. I don't care what it is. I don't need to know. I will employ somebody who knows when I'm blessed. Hallelujah. And when they washed my head and I finished, they appreciated me. Ah! I said, what kind of place is this? And they showed me the owner, a Lebanese woman who was also walking quietly. Nobody even knew. When we finished everything, time came for bill. It said 600 naira. For barbing, That's what you will pay when you meet someone who has refined his gifts. The same food, a cup of coffee in Transcorp Hilton is 2005. Everybody say cup of coffee. How much is coffee? Nescafe, this type they shake there. How much? 50 naira. If you price 20 naira. Yet it's the same thing you pay. This decoration you are seeing. There are people who can decorate over 2 million, some even 5 million. You will name your price by your refining of your gifts. Write it. Your gift and your skill will create opportunities. If Rotimi continues this a day, see how the opportunity will come is none of your business. Just know it will come. The Bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of how a child so also you do not know the way of God. How it will happen is none of your business. Hallelujah. One of my uncles called me. My father's friend. Years ago, when they come to our house, we are the ones who run to go and wash the car. How are you? We go and wash. I said, no problem. I will wash it. He called me of recent and said, ah, ah. I've been hearing a lot. We are seeing the things you are doing. I said, bless God. Oh. He said, when will you come now? We need to discuss. There's something. We need to sit down man to man. I said, that's right. <laughs> when, when your father starts talking to you like that, it's a sign that you are making progress. When your father says, there are some things I want to discuss with you, but I, when I let everybody sleep, come out. Clap for yourself. You are trying. That's, that's a sign. When your father says, look, there are some secrets we don't tell people. Who are the people? When your gift starts showing, there are doors that will start opening. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of you, you think you are too young to enter some doors. No, sir. No, ma. If you, if you refine yourself, I promise you that door will open. There are places I have entered today by the grace of God. I know there is no human way under the sun, under the sun that I will enter that place. Hallelujah, I have a gift. Laugh at me, the gift is in me. You will never go out. God gave it to me. The way God did it, God put the gift. The only way to enjoy the gift is to carry me along with the gift. You can't carry the gift and leave me. There are people today, if the gift of God was not in my life, they will see me and just his and pass. But God orchestrated it. You must need me because you need that gift. Oh, I celebrate his name. That's why I rejoice. Such as I have. Go and borrow vessels. This is what the prophet said. Sister, borrow vessels. Read the books. You may, if you borrow vessels, the gift will expand. The oil was there. The problem was there was no vessel. Esther was beautiful, but her beauty was not yet sufficient to take her to the king's palace. Is that true? She was beautiful. Many of you are sitting on gifts today that you are paying for. During my birthday, the things that people brought for me, it was as if it was wedding. You know how they finish wedding and you pack the gifts. I just sat down. I said, years ago, I did my birthday alone. Ah, 
Somebody is after two weeks. You say, ah, is it not your birthday? Your birthday, 25th. Is it not? Am I wrong? Say, you are right. Oh, say, oh, happy birthday. But there is something that can happen. One year before your birthday, somebody is preparing because of your gift. Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God telling tonight that if you can pay attention, we are discussing on the subject of success. Some of you have been sitting on treasure. You are in the middle of an ocean begging for water. You are in the middle of an ocean. You are an artist. You are watching on TV drawings that are not half your capacity. They are rewarding the people whereas you are there. When I watch preachers on TV preach, I tell you with all humility, I just get up and I rejoice. I say, God, you tried for me. We're on our way coming. And I get up, I rejoice. I say, Lord, I may not know everything, but at least I know something. I know something that I can preach anywhere and not be ashamed. Come on now. Some of you, the business acumen that you have, even the CEOs of banks and cooperatives do not have. Listen, that you have not entered that place does not mean you don't have it. Who would have known that Zuckerberg's gift was so good like this? It takes time to prove it. But that does not mean it's not there. Some of our worshippers, some of these people you are seeing, the gifts that they have, you will see them tomorrow and say, I know this person. I know that person. Abel Damina was born in Samina Kahir. Right here in this area. Who cares where I was born now? Who cares where I was raised? Even if it was with firewood we used to prepare and cook. It's, 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 look, when you are blessed, you are blessed. When you know it, you have known it. If it opens the door, it will open the door forever. It will open the door this week and close it next week. Say, I have a solution for the world. Say it, I have a solution. Some of you are music groups. Some of you are individuals. Who has talked you down? I'm speaking to somebody this night. Who has talked you down? Somebody ate your food and said, God forbid, if your restaurant is the only one, I will just, let me, I will learn how to cook by myself. Allow the person. Who has talked you down? I want you to know tonight that the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The spirit of creativity. Bel Bezalel. That spirit came upon him and he was given the mission of crafting. I'm speaking to you. Who has talked you down, my brother? Who has talked you down? See, many of you see us today and you think we were born this way. Wait till you hear some stories. When you see great people, you think they had opportunities to just climb. Let me tell you, it's not true. You don't want to know the things they have survived. Greatness lies in the bosom of those who have survived what others cannot survive. I don't care what you think you are going through. I, I slept on speakers and amplifier. It will never happen again forever. There were days we did not eat. There were days we trekked distances. But we did not allow what happened to us. I, there was a day I trekked from the roundabout where Chiki Republic. I passed Chiki Republic. I was hungry. I could not do anything about it. I trekked from there to aviation. What have you gone through that you think is stopping you? Some of you is complex. Just inferiority complex. Every time you want to rise, the devil keeps telling you, you know you did this, you know you are this, you know you are that. We are here tonight to call that devil a liar. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are calling that devil a liar. There are some of you that the gift God has given you is a supernatural prophetic grace. Some of you is an apostolic ability. Every time in your dreams you see the whole world. Some of you are book writers that will write on common books. The gift of a man. He said, borrow vessels. When she borrowed the vessels, she entered. He said, lock your door. There are some trainings you don't do in the open. You must close your door. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you that like open, there are some times you need to close your door. Because what God will do in you is only him that can do alone. You will close your door. 
and she began to pour it. Do you know how, how many vessels? The pain it took for her to carry the vessels. While she was carrying the vessels, she said, I'm on, I'm on my way out. Never, never to be in this situation again. You are the solution to the prayer of your families. Some of you, many of them never experience some things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But could it be that God brought you tonight to speak to you? There are some of you who have been saying, oh, the government is not giving job. This and that. Could it be that God is trying to speak to you? I'm challenging you. Take what I'm saying seriously because we are going to pray. We will soon rise up to pray. And when it's time to pray, I want you to pray your life out. I told myself I am great. I'm great. I'm great. Joshua Selman, you are great. I speak it to myself every day. The world will hear you. You are a sign and a wonder. The anointing that is upon you is not common. Don't trivialize it. Give God thanks, but celebrate it. If it's common, go and get it in the market. Hallelujah. The gift that God has given you, Oga John. There are photographers around, but it's not common. Believe it and take it seriously. There are some of you that have all kinds of gifts. You are administrators, uncommon administrators. As young as you are, you can sit down and administrate. You didn't read this admin. Could that gift take you? There are some of you who can write proposals. There are many of you who can do a lot of things. I'm speaking to you tonight. Wake up. Call your name and say, wake up. One to go. See, prophesy it from the spirit. One more time. One to go. Yes. The Bible says, awake thou that sleepest. That means you have been sleeping. Awake thou that sleepest. And Christ will give you life. Somebody called me and said, Josh, at, at this level of your life, what are you doing? I said, preparing for an extraordinary life. This is what I'm doing right now. This is what I do every day. When people get up and run, everybody is going for work, everybody is doing, I'm preparing for an extraordinary life. Oh, and when the master is done with me, he will present me as a masterpiece, a symbol of his wisdom and artistry. I speak to you. You will hear this message many years after now. When you stand and watch the world clap for you, and tears stream down your face. You will tell them, this award is given to me in London, but I was trained in Zaria. And I did not despise the chastening of the Lord. Many of you, this teaching is hard on you. It's a wake-up call, but despise not the days of chastening. I bring you a word. Let the devil not lie to you. You are great. You are on your way to happen. I don't care how many times you have failed in life. When you become successful, when a woman has a miscarriage 50 times and she gives birth the 51st time, nobody will ask her how many times you had miscarriage. We don't care. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. I had that song years ago. We went to sing in a church. And while they were singing it, they were laughing. That song entered my spirit till today. Tell yourself I am somebody. It's time to stop this false humility and start believing in what God, this is what koinonia is all about. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit partnership with him to shake the world i would never if if i tell myself i am not great i'm lying it's not humility it's foolishness say i am great say it one more time say it one more time say it one more time say the world will testify that i am great say the world will testify that i'm great say i will walk at it I may cry, but I will walk at it. It will cost me, but I will walk at it. Understanding. 
You are paying the price. Some of you will be mighty women of God. As you are looking at me, you, you, God has already shown you. It does, you, are, you are wondering, how shall these things be like Mary? He said, thou art favored, thou, how did he even put it, that salutation? Hail Mary, mother of grace. He said, thou art favored among other women. She said, what meaneth these salutations? How shall these things be? Don't, you don't need to ask how it shall be. Let me tell you. Whether you are a mother here, whether you are a father, whether you are a sister, a brother, young or old, at any level, if you can allow God to take a hold, I have found my servant David. And with my holy oil, I have anointed him. What has God given you? I'm speaking to you. What has God given you? Oh, God has given you leadership. Take it to the extreme. Let that gift make room for you. God has given you grace for ministry. Take it to the extreme. God has given you business acumen. Stand up and establish those conglomerates. Don't let no devil talk nonsense to you. Let the employment of Nigeria not threaten you. Tell yourself I will arise. I will create jobs. Thousands of jobs. You can be a lady and God is telling you. You are entering into the finance world. Don't sit down and let people call you a weaker vessel. It's time to begin to silence those demonic voices. You've never held 10,000 of your money, so what? Your gift will bring for you something your entire family did not hold. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Everybody close your eyes just in one minute before we pray. Close your eyes where you are. And just begin to meditate in one minute. I'd like you to begin to see yourself the champion that God has made you. I'd like you to begin to see yourself solving the problems of mankind. You are an ambassador. See yourself shaking away the limitation of your culture. See yourself shaking away that limitation. Who told you you cannot get there? I'm speaking to your spirit. Just close your eyes and meditate. I have found my servant David. I have a gift. I have an ability given by God. I have an ability. Men may not understand it now. Men may not understand it now. It's still in the process of refining. It's still in the process of refining. But when God is done with you, my sister, I tell you, although you cannot speak good English now, I am telling you, when that gift is done, you will stand near scholars and it will be an honor for them to stand with you. Yes, I know you came from the village. Yes, I know you came from the village. You've not afforded a good meal. But who told you that gift cannot take you? I'm speaking to you. Yes, you have not gotten admission. You wrote jam 20 times. But who told you that gift cannot rise up? I'm speaking to you. Yes, your wire didn't work well. Yes, you started that business and failed. But who told you that anointing is not in you? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't care what has happened. Yes, it is. Who told you that that anointing, the first day you prayed for a sick person, the person was not healed. In fact, he died. But God told you you have been called to take his healing power to the nations. Do you believe it? There are many of you that are, are TV hosts. God is taking you to do mighty things. Some of you are beauticians. Some of you are mighty men and women. Joshua the high priest stood before God. And Satan was there to accuse him. And he says, Satan, is this not a reed that I've taken out of fire? The Lord rebuke you. At any level you can start. Hear me tonight. I'm speaking to you. At any level you can start. Joseph, in one night, he slept as an ordinary slave. He woke up the next day and his gift made room for him. Somebody's gift will make room for him. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. Now in the next five to ten minutes, please, if you want to scatter yourself around, I want you to pray. Let me tell you, if I, if I say prayer and I see some of you looking at me, I'll come and hold your hands and pray with you here. Please, if you are sleeping, wake up. We are finished. Wake up. It's time to pray. Inside and outside. There's no space for you inside. Go outside to pray. I want us to pray. 
the bible says this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you war a good warfare with the prophecy many of some of you don't know these giftings you are going to pray and say lord what did you put in me what did you put in me i'm tired of inferiority and complex i'm tired of being thought out of as a second class person what did you put in me for your glory that's prayer point number one lift your voice right now and begin to pray come on now koinonia you won't pray like this you won't pray like this lord what is that treasure what do i have in my house young and old pray 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 Rekete broske pai maka prakata lekoto broske bariata a prokoto bekete bekete bararaba. Make sure you are praying. Lord, what is that gift? What is the rod of God in my hand? I'm tired of trying to look like everybody. I'm tired of trying to talk like everybody. Koinonia, pray. Sheke te te koso preka. Sempre ke te ke posha. Re ke te proskope e koto riata. Man proto zekete. Re ke te posha. Lord, show me my uniqueness. Show me. He said, call on to me and I will answer. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Show me, O oh God. Show me, O oh God. Come on, Koinonia, pray. Show me, O oh God. Show me, O oh God. My father did not see it. My mother did not see it. Show me, O oh God. There is a generation waiting for a revelation of the glory of God that is in me. Pray. Pray. You came here tonight to pray. What do you have in your house? What do you have? Where is that ability that can make you stand anywhere? That will also give you a seat among the great. Going on here, pray. I don't like the way some of you are praying. Come on, pray. Kate pokoto pekete, sekete te pokoto sa, rekete kete pokoso ba, rapaka prosa kaya, ma prosko pedia. Contend in the spirit. Every power of darkness that wants you not to discover that gift in you, the Lord rebuke it. Pray, it will come out, it will come out, it will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Forget about where you are now. Forget about where you are today. Forget about what you don't have. Forget about what has happened. Pray. Pray. Invest into your tomorrow. Invest into your tomorrow. What is it, oh God? I call unto you. He said, call unto me. I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things he will show you in a dream he will show you in a vision he will show you through prophetic confirmation he will show you through your passion 
He will show you through your desires. Rekete kete prokoto balanaba. Rapa kata prekesa. Em protoko preke. Elekete proskoparia. Mapokoto prekete. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. The gift that will end poverty in my lineage. Show me that gift that will end poverty. Show me that gift that will bring my family to greatness. Show me that gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to speak and say, Lord, I receive a baptism of diligence to refine and develop my gifts. Are you hearing me? Some of us, hear me? Some of us, you need to reduce your time of pointless visitations. Going to go and meet friends and gossiping and discussing about things that have no bearing to your future. Are you hearing me? You are going to see whether it is in the rain, in the sun, you are going to tell yourself, I may cry, I may weep, I may not look fine now as I'm doing it, but I'm ready. Hear me? Some of you, by this prayer, you will need to cut away from godless and unserious friends. Well, hold on. I'm speaking to some of you because for some of you, it is your friends and your company that are keeping you from being great. Your, this friend thing love is a command association is not there's nobody that says you must have many friends to show you are making progress in life they may gossip about you they may misunderstand you don't worry when you become great it will settle the matter are you hearing me you are going to pray now and say lord diligence the bible says yet thou a man diligent in his business it shall not stand before mean men it shall stand before kings lift your voice and pray diligence to fast diligence to pray diligence to study day and night diligence to read books diligence to listen to tapes diligence to go for workshops I receive a baptism a fresh baptism a fresh baptism a fresh baptism are you praying Koinonia? are you praying pray say I break free from ungodly movies ungodly associations ungodly places for the sake of my destiny I pay the price I pay the price I saw the seed I may weep but I saw the seed I can't be a failure in life. Shekete koto prekete bolo suba. Rekete proskete keleba. Ambre kotoshka rakata leko sopa. Yes, you are praying your way to greatness. You are praying your way to greatness. You are praying your way to prosperity. You are praying your way to generational blessings. You are praying your way to extraordinary impact. My sister, pray, 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 pray. Forget about your failures and pray. Forget about your failures and pray. Say, Lord, I will start again. I used to set goals before, but now I'm backslidden. I used to watch videos every day. I used to listen to DVDs, but now I'm backslidden. But tonight, tonight, a baptism, fresh grace.
I won't give up. I won't give up. Come on now. Arise. Let your dreams arise. Refuse to give up. God is faithful. Refuse to give up. Go back again. Do it again. Shake it. I saw the devil jeopardize my family. I knew where my father came from and I saw the activities of witchcraft and wickedness that happened. A lot of preachers preached me into believing everything was alright. But I knew that it is true that Christ died on the cross. But I knew that. See, let me tell you. Look up, please. Knowing what Jesus has done is not revelation. It is knowing what you need to do to make it a reality that is revelation. Many people have knowledge. Let me tell you, I preached somewhere, you can get the message. And I said the key to accessing the glory and demonstrating the reality of the kingdom is not knowledge, it's understanding. Understanding tells you how to make something real here and now. The day I caught a revelation and a light in my spirit, I ran home. I ran home and I stood in front of my door. And I said, the demons that oppress me, I beg you, please come. This is not just some jamboree that we do in church. I knew it entered me. And let me assure you, ask the devil till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. But I never knew it was real. I prayed. I fasted. Seven days fasting. At the end of that fasting, they will come and oppress me. Let me tell you. I prayed. I fasted. Just like many of you have been fasting. But there are laws in this kingdom. Things don't just happen because you are born again. Are you listening to me? There are families that have come. Mama, let me tell you. God is going to visit you. As I'm standing here, I'm already seeing oppression. This is you being tied. Tied. This is what I'm seeing. Do you know a man can be walking physically, but spiritually he's in prison? Go and read your Bible. He said to open the doors of the prison. The people did not know they are in prison. Physically you are walking. Physically you are moving. Someone lives abroad. And just comes back to remain in the village. They say, my brother, why did you come back? He said, me too, I don't know. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Many of, you are, many of you don't know why Paul said, I am not ashamed. If you understand the gospel very well, it takes courage to preach it. Because it's not attractive. So Paul said, I am not ashamed of every aspect of the gospel that must be taught. Hallelujah. We have seen all kinds of oppressions. All kinds of things. I've shared with you in this place. A woman who came for counseling. Every time when she sleeps, she sees monkeys coming to molest her. And she had stillbirth at uh, the teaching hospital in Shika. Um, not Shika, the other one in, P in uh, PZ. You know that one there in Sabo. And she gave birth to half man, half monkey, dead, physically. How do you explain this? Look, let me tell you. Come to terms with the fact that this world is a wicked world. Are you getting me? If you get this thing, this is deliverance for you this night. Because you will stop listening to many messages that don't make sense. At once you will know that if you do not arise and stamp the devil where he belongs, he will eat you up as if Jesus did not die. Hallelujah. I believe in the power of God. I am convinced that every believer should be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. I prayed for some ladies. I think you were there, Kenny. Some ladies that came and I prayed for them. 
one of the ladies, she had not slept for a long time because these demons come to oppress her. She can't sleep. When I prayed for her, I casted out that devil of darkness. There and then, it was less than 10 seconds, she started sleeping. You see what is killing some of our parents? They hold their drugs on their hands, but the sleep will not come. The Bible says he giveth his beloved sleep. And if the devil argues with that, you prove to him that you know what you are saying. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, God has never had cause to rise up from his throne, but there was still war in heaven for Satan to leave heaven. There had to be war to live. What do you think will make Satan just live freely in your life? If there was war to get Satan out of heaven, he said there was war in heaven. Is that not true? It was on account of that war, Satan was cast down. I write to you, my son Timothy, that ye wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given unto you. It didn't say carry, the warfare is not this madness we do around. The warfare is having an understanding of what your role is in making the word of God become a reality. And brothers and sisters, I bring you good news. We have fasted for today. We have prayed for today. The, all the departments and workers have prayed. We have prayed and I assure you, the devil will let you go tonight if you are interested. If you are, if you are not interested, there are other miracle service, services that are coming. But tonight, if you are tired, you can tell the devil is over. There are families that have been tied down. There are some of our fathers... They are not doing their responsibilities as men. And you think it's just like that. Nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. Are you hearing me? Nothing just happens. Satan knows that Jesus has died. Satan knows that he's given the church the victory. But he also knows that we are lacking in understanding. And we must keep contending. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of liberty. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of healing. It's my night of deliverance. It's my night of breakthrough. It's my night of restoration. Let me talk about marriage a little. Because we are going to confront that thing this night. There are many people. If the power of God does not step into your life, you will never marry. I don't care what you rob. Foundation, the next one after it, whatever it is. Because the problem is not your physical appearance. There are powers that tie men down. The Bible says, he told, he said, what seest thou? Zechariah 1 verse 18. He said four horns. These horns have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Israel, against Jerusalem, so that no man will lift up his head. He said, but I have sent carpenters. I have sent carpenters. We are going to pray. Let me preach to everyone here that marriage is the will of God. Are you hearing me? Marriage is what? Absolutely. The devil knows what marriage can do. If marriage did not affect Satan, he will not fight it. Are you getting my point? Sister, the devil knows why he's fighting to make sure your husband does not come. But this night, this night, the Bible says at a prophetic word, bones that never saw each other for a long time started relocating till they came. There is a husband for you. Don't let statistics deceive you. Whether it is 10 men, 10 women to one man is none of your business. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says you shall not call what they call conspiracy. Conspiracy. It says when men shall say there is a casting down. What is your testimony? There is a lifting up. Many ladies are afraid now to an extent that people are just becoming desperate. They say, do you know there are no husbands? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you there are no husbands? 
my God will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to address issues. It's a miracle service. It's not a healing service. Miracles are more than healing. There are many of us here, we are not sick, but our family needs divine intervention quick, financially and otherwise. There are many of us, everybody in your family is a graduate, but nobody is working. Everywhere you go, they drive you. Some of us even went abroad. You went abroad, you came back, and you are looking as if you never went to school. That devil must bow this night. Hallelujah. And for those of us who have been told by the doctors that nothing can be done about your situation, I bring you good news. There is a way out. Soon as I yes, one day I feed you can soon I soon as I yes, one day I feed you can soon I soon as I yes, one day I feed you can soon I yes, soon as I yes. For some of us is academic bondage people keep mocking you they think you are lazy you are reading all you can read you are doing everything but there are horns that have vowed that you will not arise are you getting what i'm saying there are horns that you are that have vowed that as far as admission is concerned you won't get it or as far as this is concerned they mark scripts when it's time to mark your own they forget it Come on now. Don't tell me that's a coincidence. When you know the realm of the spirit, you know things do not just happen. Hallelujah. A lecturer just looks at you and vows to punish you in that department. What did you do? I just hate you. What kind of, what kind of nonsense is that? That's a spirit speaking through that person. Hallelujah. And there are people here who have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. At least I know that I got two text messages by some people. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And he opened the womb of Rachel. God can open wombs. I don't care what they say is there. How many of you have seen a bulldozer trying to throw something down? Whatever stands it way, it clears it. Whether it's called fibroid, whether it clears it away. This is the God I serve. Hallelujah. Some of us have been giving all kinds of reports. And they've said you may never be able to have a child. Even if they remove your womb, you will give birth. Hallelujah. Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. Her stomach started growing. Be it unto me. When Joseph saw her stomach growing, he said, I will divorce you. I have no business with what is happening. And the angel said, what are you saying? Keep this woman for that which is in her. How it entered the word of God. He says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Shortly, we'll rise up and pray for five minutes. And that prayer is aimed at steering anger in you to say, Lord, I'm not going to go back the same. Hallelujah. You know, many of us hear words like this, but the impetus to make it our word, that's what we lack. So you can rejoice over other people. Hallelujah. You must get angry and say, Lord, as you are visiting men this night, I'm holding on to you like the woman with the issue of blood. Let people call me unclean, no problem. That's why I'm here. Are you getting my point? You must get angry. Especially for those, there are so many people you could not get seats. You can't just be standing outside. And then at the end of it, you just go back and say, I didn't get seat. Say, Lord, as a reward for this standing, the devil must bow. Hallelujah. 
Jesus wants his glory to be revealed. And let me tell you something. All things are possible. Say it after me. All things are possible. The Bible says Jesus healed them all. It didn't say he healed some. It didn't say he healed the, the ones that could be resolved. Then the ones that have gotten so bad he could not do anything. The Bible says he healed them all. That means he delivered them all. Hallelujah. And some of us here are standing in for our family members. You know that we care about family here. We are convinced in this place that if your family does not experience what you call salvation, your Christianity is not yet complete. He said, as for me and what? He didn't say as for me and myself. As for me and my house. It's not enough for you to receive breakthrough. When there are people in your house who have not experienced that, they must be opened to this reality of the revelation of the power of God. Isaiah 61. Arise, shine. Isaiah 61. Let's see what the Spirit of the Lord came to do. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord, the Master, the owner of the universe, has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to do what? Bind up the broken hearted. He had sent me to proclaim what? Liberty. That means those who have been tied by ancestral causes and yokes. And they have said nobody will cross this boundary. You are the one who will cross it for the first time. And tell your family members the door has been opened. Everybody can now freely pass without bowing down to a on without bowing down to a deity there are some of us as you are sitting down right now our parents are putting pressure on us come home or come to the village let them go and bath you with whatever let me tell you africa has not forgotten where they are coming from they are still practicing it it's just that we are practicing part traditional religion and then on sunday we are doing religious christianity Some people cannot just rise. It's called limitation. You know what limitation is? You don't remain there. You will move up. But it's like there is a mark that has been placed over your family. Nobody rises there. You see a man rising, doing well. He can get a job. One day, he will come back. Those deities are proving to you we are alive. But tonight, somebody, Kabali Kabarosa Daya, somebody will walk out and for the first time you will break those barriers and say people in my house just get children without getting married because of frustration when they are 55 years and no man is coming they say okay just get pregnant at least let's have children and you will say you are the one who will break that and you will usher in your children and everybody there are those who say they have vowed that your degree will remain a piece of paper. You have gotten degree, you have gotten masters, but there is nothing around your life like that. Everywhere, a man will vow a pastor and say, bring me your CV. When you are about to visit that man, someone will come in your dream and now molest you. You get up the next day to go and the man will say, I cannot remember telling you this. Ah, yeah. There's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising up men and women anointed to break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There are some of us, you are the first person in your family to enter a university or even to complete it. And the devil has vowed. He said it has never happened. 
and all hell is breaking loose they say frustrate her frustrate him frustrate them who are these horns who are these horns that fly above the lives of people to jeopardize their prophetic destiny come on pray pray tonight is a night of judgment tonight is a night of justice get angry tonight I will break limits where my father did not enter I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost everywhere pray inside and outside begin to pray I break limits Satan enough is enough Come on, get angry inside and outside for your destiny. Hallelujah. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us, what is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again, you pray in tongues. But until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. Everybody must walk like an elephant for everything. Some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs, just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please listen to me. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I want you to get angry tonight. One of the things that we must all break, the Lord was ministering this to me, is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn. And they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up. There are some of us, what must leave your family this night is the plague of death. Some after two, two years or three, three years or by September or a particular month, somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick. Part 
patterns of wickedness. When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally. You will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here? Our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything. Nothing to show for it. We hear the chains falling. Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease don't say it's like that in our family this night you must begin to contend I can't remain SS simply because everyone is like that I can't remain AS because everybody is like that. I can't have eye problem because everybody has it. Get angry. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them in. Shera na 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 Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power. To heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake the bokotos. So both so praise. Just those outside The power of God is falling I command devils Come out Come out Come out I command powers 
Demon spirit. I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost outside the angels of God are moving everywhere outside the power of God is shaking every demonic hole acts of witchcraft yokes curses those outside lift your hands again lift your hands I just want you to focus on the screen those of you outside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again no power will hide right now one two three go 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 come out come out of them devils yokes bondages by the fire Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. I say right now. And right now. Miracles The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus, no instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Jesus. The fire of God is coming down right now. Mightily. Shekete. Mekoto Sota. Take a prayer scaba. Some bread take it. Take it. Bring them out. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ka break it. Lebos. Em break it. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Separate Mam break both so protos. E break the lebos. Take it. 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 Ma prateko sopai em pretos te palia la baba 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 Se se kete baba 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 Se protos sopre ke de balara ba Hallelujah This roll lift your hands The angel of the Lord is standing in this room. I pray right now. Every activity of witchcraft. According to what the Lord is showing me. Those in this room. Right now. In the name of Jesus. 
I want you to shout Jesus right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 lift your hands no devil will escape tonight outside at the top of your voice after the count of three many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you my God let no spirit let no spirit remain right now one two three All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there By the blood I bring a separation I bring a separation By the blood now Now, 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 now. I bring a separation By the blood By the power The mystery of the blood the mystery of the door. 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 The Bring the lady. Bring the lady. 
Bring her here. Patekebosha. Arosakata, Zekota Boba, Pompaliatosa, Arosia Katuka, Pompale, Pompale, Soriato, Ajata, Prati, Pata, Pata, Suatebria, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I go is a living God. God. Bring the living 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 God. Bring the God. Bring the living God. Bring the living God. Bring the living Shila, leave her. Out, Shila. Never return again. Shila, Shila. Now all the devils here, at the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice? I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two, so go, 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 go. Out, Shila. Out, Shila. Out, Out. You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. Be free. I set you free. Oriashaka. Let her go now. Leave this little girl out, devil of darkness. Out, come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out. 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 Marital delay. Give me a hand. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Out of her. Now. Now, 
Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Listen, some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay. It will die now. At once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Alright then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now I challenge you. Zedekete pala kata prakoto soba. Shipa kota gada. Nembrendi zile kata. Reto shikata garade siza. Something will leave you right now. Niko taba. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Zego parade shita kata uba. Marital delay. Shila. Go. Bo shipa kita kito na yada. Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibro. I cost that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zego Palada Garanda Shia Kataga do Siza Lagataga Branda Sila Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka, Sete Lamantaria. You can't move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils, be gone right now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. 
Where's the woman I spoke about? One my mother was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now, hold on. Why are you? I want to, it's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when find you... myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that, that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Light is shining. Madam, look at me. In the darkness. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her? Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, you used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do. Check. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain, why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? 
And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He just say different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the key. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. Yes, what do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into any university. Have you written jam? No, not You are yet. writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, you will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam, whether for you or for your loved ones. I tell you the truth and I lie not. See, listen. Prophecy. Kaya Yaya. Reketera. Mambre Tetekete Balakata. Rotosepa. Every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Listen. Whether you know what you are writing or not, May my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, the Lord, Mene, 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 who says it, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen, many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Parada shi amakrundi siza ma paradi ata zigo shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No, shila. All right, you must. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood, go now. Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou enthroned on high. Enthroned on high. Enthroned. Help me worship us. Be thou and Marriage 
We are going to visit the issue of marriage right now. Please, I want you to listen. I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace. Sister, look at me. Just look at my eyes. You must release her right now. It's time for you to go. Out you go. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name In the name that is above all names i pray right now by the power of the holy ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of elohim right now as you shout jesus they will depart from you now one two go Every marital delay. Go, 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 go. Let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like ulcer you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has healed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? another one come come you've been healed when god speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is it working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay i just felt a pain leave my chest. you felt something leave you yeah. do what you couldn't do before i felt pain in my chest completely hold my hands never returns in the name of jesus christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How long? For I've how long? Been drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs. Yes. Uh -huh. the drugs is even, in, is even in my bag right now. The drugs, you go and bring yes. it. 
Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names. Hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. Ulcers. Ulcers are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will. When you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. It will hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't. I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe. Do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? No. Sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six, six months. months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we we're outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there, he must pack his load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle, run out here. Even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command... Eyes be healed, be healed now, be healed, be healed. Every blind eye open, every blind eye open, partial blindness be gone in the name of Jesus. Long sightedness, short sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth in any part of your body, what's wrong with him? Eye problem. Bring him. God is healing people. Look at, look at a miracle. Look at a big miracle. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at what is happening to these people. Look at eyes are opening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Eyes are opening. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Every kind of eye condition. Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's, 
I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? His mom. We came together. With Mama. Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your no no. Let, let him lay his hands on you. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankong Kata local government. So I had you, this you came program. all the way from Zankwa. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Jesus healed his eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command his eyes to open right now. Open right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him if he's seen anything. Can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is the... Eh? You saw light. What are you seeing? Oh my God. Look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? Can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light. I saw and it went you saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up, all right? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again? Yes, a sharp light. You've been using glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now, roommate. When we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in you my eyes. A sharp I, light. I, I, I fell down. And then you fell under the yes. anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until is, you use glasses. Yes, until Give I Give us something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And right now, I see miracles everywhere. You were healed? Who Fancy. brought this boy? Okay. Uh, How are you? Fancy. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay, what happened to you? As Please was, make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as as I fell down and I'm coming. Now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? 
What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. Ah. You mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? Is he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Uh, what was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? <laughs> to the shame of the devil. <laughs> Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. First God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over when there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I and it's back. gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this... I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me. What and do you today, mean go blank? Epileptic yeah, or something? Today I was in class and my, I was, we were reading. My friend was asking me, what's wrong with me? I'm reading the word. I'm mixing the word. I'm like, it started since this year. And she's like, okay, I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes, the, you will be skipping yes, the I'll words. Yes, I'll the word. I'll go blank, and I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we were praying, I laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye, and then a light just just hit me, and my hands touched. Light again. Pain, you see the and light. Then my eyes got very hot, and then your I eyes got open, hot. Yes, and you felt it open, open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's and see. And came to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hand, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I increased, and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started in 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly pterygium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and what got right now. So, but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? Mm. What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own. Sister brought oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eyes took your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh huh. I, I saw that the thing have gone completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes just to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But m since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eye will, will be itching me. I was okay. like, start, start feeling sleepy. Mm -hmm. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while. The worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship. I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria. Please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly. Please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. 
please let's save time inside and outside if you are sick whether you are outside zaria or not just come please come out now is the time for you to be healed thank you jesus for your healing power those of us who are seated begin to pray in tongues please My don't be distracted he can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now whatever it is please keep coming quickly come and line, line yourself as you come just be praying and say lord this is it i am parting with this sickness From the rain, say, My God, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened, forever He will reign. My God is awesome, my God is awesome. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ.
accident look at me since when i think a week ago now you can't walk the the nurse bandaged my leg then what happened i started i couldn't walk very well again so i removed the bandage why did you remove the bandage because pulse was going out pulse was going out of the leg yes where is it ah goodness look at this look at me brother yes sir look at me He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now, who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus.
I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what, hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying up. You are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with you. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the fire.
injection. It spoiled the leg. Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it? No, except with age. Except? With an age. Try to move it. I can move it. Just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it. Eh? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy, be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly.
Please pass the request quickly. Just leave her. Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful form. Request, you quickly, are quickly. the joy of the That's whole world. Time. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please hush us quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, right? You are the joy of the whole world. Anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. 
So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship. Just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, oh God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverance, so God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Saraprake Jali Mazata Labroki Jilibana Zataya. The God of all flesh, Zarapakata Shilia, Lezarika Patasha, we declare, Lazata Patasha, the one that parted the Red Sea, Rakapata Shitalaba, Ribi Zuri Brani Nekoto Shitalaba, do the impossible right now, do the impossible, do the impossible, do the impossible. You break upon the Red Sea and you part it into two, do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. Testimonies. Testimonies in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare that with this request, so God let the, let there be possibility right now in the name of Jesus. Miracles, miracles, open doors in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless be the name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on her chest. Out now. release her and go now
Hallelujah. And he said to me, prophesy. And I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wanted. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound, a rattling sound. And bones began to be joined to bones. And he said unto me, son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And I prophesied, O wind, breathe upon this slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the slain, and there stood an exceeding great army. I want to prophesy over your life. I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father. Because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. Hallelujah. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And the prophet said in Samaria, By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, the Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. By a prophet, he brought them out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. He says, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. I'm not singing. Just concentrate. My God, would you step in and do the impossible? Do the impossible. Change the unchangeable. Change the unchangeable. My God, step in to the impossible. To the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now. Let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost. Restoration now. Restoration now, restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration. Everything you have lost, for whatever reason it was lost, I command restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus. Restoration of destiny help us. 
restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 in the book of job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantment in the name of the God that I serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now because now because now for he has broken the gates of brass and he has cut the irons in sunder my God I pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if God be in this place, I command those two leaf gates be open now. Be open now. I prophesy, be open now. By the power of prophecy, be open now. Everyone called jobless in this place. In the name that is above every other name. Satele kabande kretisa kai. Ashetete balakata pregede balada bagada bagada. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God wherever you need favor for jobs i prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west i command jobs every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward may his prophecy come to pass in the name of jesus christ I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come i speak from the heavens in the name of jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name 
that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the Lord come alive now dead relationships come alive now I pray for your academics. For he has given me the tongue of the learned that I may know how to speak the word in due season to him that is weary. He said, my tongue is the pen of the, right, the ready writer. My heart has indicted a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. Daniel was made 10 times better. He said, I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say. That when you stand before them, you shall not think of what to say. For in that very hour, it will be the spirit of your father speaking. I pray, everyone called God, I change that testimony now. everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of Jesus. And everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate. In the name that is above all names. We graduate you right here. We graduate you right here. In the name of Jesus Christ. We graduate you right here. That cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted I speak to every job here receive increase I speak to every business here grow I command you to grow I speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of Jesus Christ let the favor of God that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers I prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of Jesus May that favor hit you where you are. May that favor change you. May it cause men to bless you. Hallelujah. And I pray, may the presence of God go with you. Everywhere you go, everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of God, pornography, masturbation, whatever it is, it ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. It ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. It ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dead spiritual life. Every dead prayer life every dead word study life in the name that is above all names come alive now receive the fire for prayer take it take it take it take it take it take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it 
let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of Jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise I pray the Bible says the gift of a man makes room I pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried I prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head when i cry Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 Thank you for lifting my head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying i'm tired of my life i'm tired of living my life the way i want i need to surrender my life to a god that is higher and greater than me some of you have probably given your heart to the lord please listen but tonight jesus is calling you may have a christian name that's not the same as salvation you may even be a pastor that's not the same as salvation tonight the lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely i'm going to make an altar call just one to five i want you to run from outside from inside please run like your life depends on it you are saying lord i am tired take it take it it is yours and i'm giving it back to you i am tired of living life my own way i have done my best i relinquish that whole one please rush quickly celebrate them as they come two uh -huh. just come as you stand here just begin to pray and say lord take over take over that's the song god bless you you are saying lord i surrender everything i've been living my life the way i want but tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family member stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friend stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, Take everything, take over. Everything I'm tired of living my life my own way. I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you for coming. Don't make this an emotional decision. Mean it from the depths of your heart. No matter what you have done wrong, no matter how you've lived your life, 
I want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins and that fountain flows to bless you it flows to wash you it flows to cleanse you lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart please you are not reciting a poem this is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight hallelujah say after me Lord Jesus I come before you unable to help myself I ask you to help me cleanse me wash me with your precious blood I truly repent of my sins in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today no backsliding some of you as you are praying this I tell you the power of the devil will be broken all of the chains you're going to say Satan I denounce you right now take your hands and live my life I declare that I'm saved I'm a child of God the Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life from today I'm sold out and totally surrendered now keep your hands lifted father bless these ones you have brought them use them mightily let the power of sin be broken in their lives let the power of the grave be broken let the power of the flesh be broken anoint them and use them mightily oh god let this not be a, an emotional decision let this be a genuine decision in the name of jesus make mighty men out of them in the name of jesus christ congratulations i want you to look at me I congratulate you for this great decision everyone here made this decision at one point now I'd like you to just follow our ushers there's a wonderful sister waving her hand I want you to just follow them they'll have they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow God bless you please follow them follow them very quickly please. all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time here at koinonia we love you please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing god bless you if this is your first time wherever you are just run and come there is a special blessing for you don't wait for your neighbor you are the first person koinonia is this the best you can do for them thank you thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you we thank you coming don't stop we have a prayer for you and we have a blessing and all those who took the pain to invite anybody here may God invite all the blessings you need in your life I'm very serious I'm not just saying it if anyone came here as a result of your invitation I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus name thank you for coming this is koinonia we love you we bless you i believe you are blessed tonight you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ prophesy upon their lives koinonia bless them we speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life we bless you with the blessings of the house we bless you with prosperity we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding we bless you with grace we bless you with the power of the holy spirit May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you follow the ushers. They'll have your details. They'll welcome you more on our behalf. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you for coming. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him. 
that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.